I nominated Mrs. Felix, my ninth grade honors English teacher, for the Crystal Apple Award. While I'm a junior now, Miss Felix and I have consistently kept in touch, whether by email or even in the hall during our ordinary year, reminiscing on the unfortunately short year I got to have her as my teacher. I nominated Mrs. Felix because she taught me things I'll forever carry with me, not just grammar and Shakespeare, but so much more. Her presence is sweet and warm and hopeful, and her heart filled with every good intention, which her caring actions so certainly reflect. But more than just her disposition, Miss Felix is the ideal model of a good person with a good heart, the type of person we need more of in this world, and the type of person I was so grateful to call my teacher. So with all my sincerity, thank you. Hello, I nominated Mrs. Gallimore for the Crystal Apples Awards. I nominated her because she is nice and easygoing. Because of COVID, there's a lot of students who are in need of help, and she is always there for them and understanding. She makes learning fun, and it's always such an honor to be in her class. Thank you, Mrs. Gallimore. Hi. I nominated Mr. Butler for the Crystal Apple Award because I feel he did a great job this year handling all the situations. Whether we were at home or in person, he really made sure everyone in the class was okay with all the work that was being given and understood all the concepts. Thank you, Mr. Butler. My name is Riley Phipps and I nominated Ms. Cummings for the Crystal Apple Award. Ms. Cummings generally tries to make a connection with her players and students and she puts in the real effort to get to know each and every one of us. Either after class, after school, virtually, or through email, Ms. Cummings is available to help with schoolwork or anything else that we may need. This school year, I was fortunate enough to be in her history class. Because of COVID, I was one of the only in-person students for a majority of the year, and this really helped me to continue to build a good relationship with her. I have learned that Ms. Cummings is not just a history teacher or a basketball coach, but she extends her positivity through everything that she does. I've had such a great opportunity to connect with her on a meaningful level this year, and in so many of our conversations, Ms. Cummings is interested in who I am as a person and a student. She shows the same interest in all of her students as well. From the first day of freshman basketball to now, Ms. Cummings has created a positive and inclusive environment. I believe that the environment that she's created and the environment that I have been lucky enough to be a part of has helped me succeed in the classroom and will help me succeed later in life. She's been an outstanding role model for me the past three years, and I am so lucky to have had the opportunity to know her as a teacher, coach, and person. My name is Nina Colella, and I nominated Mrs. Lamborghese for the Crystal Apple Award. In the beginning of the school year, I had reached out to all of my teachers to introduce myself, since I would not formally be able to do so as a fully remote student. Mrs. Lamborghese had replied first, with warmth, compassion, and kindness, but one sentence of her email in particular had stood out to me, that being, I will make sure you are given every opportunity to feel connected and to be successful a promise that was most certainly kept. Thanks to Mrs. Lamborghese's nobility, assistance, and attention to detail, I have been able to transcend in our honors level course and develop a newfound love for English. Additionally, I have not failed to admire and value the challenges that Mrs. Lamborghese has presented me with over this past year. They have proven to me that mistakes are not something to dwell on, but to master instead. Mrs. Lamborghese has fostered an environment where even students who could so easily feel lost behind a screen are heard, cared for, and provided with guidance, something that may seem simple to others, but is definitely easier said than done. I'm so grateful to say that although I have not yet met Mrs. Lamborghese in person, I have been able to connect with her on both a personal and professional level. Through all of the hardships that this year has presented us with, she's kept elevated spirits and the well-being of others a top priority. She's beloved by all of her students, and I have absolutely no doubt that she's made lasting impact on countless individuals, including myself. Above all, Mrs. Lamborghese exceeds all expectations by not only inspiring us to be better students, but better people. I cannot possibly thank you enough for all that you've done for me this year. It's been an honor being a part of the family that you've created here at Shawnee. I've decided to nominate Mrs. Watson for the Crystal Apple Award, not only because she's an amazing teacher with amazing teaching methods who always somehow knows exactly how to explain stuff so that everybody understands it, but she's also just a great person. She always asks, asks how we are in the morning, how our weekend was. Uh, she says happy birthday to us if it's our birthday. And she took over for my other accounting teacher who retired in October. And I thought that this transition of teaching methods might be kind of hard to adapt to, but she made it so easy. And just overall, her great teaching methods, as well as her open and kind personality, have definitely helped to create a, um, a comfortable learning environment uh, that has definitely been a factor in me excelling in that course, as well as my fellow students especially in this super hard time. So, thank you. For the Crystal Apple Award, I nominated Mrs. Shimp. 
Uh, she's just been a really great teacher. I've been noticing she's been trying to keep kids engaged, even with remote learning and all the craziness with this. And she just seems genuinely happy to see the kids. Um, and she's reached out to me whenever um, I'll get maybe a bad grade here and there. Or she'll she'll reach out to say that she thinks I'm doing good. And I just think she's very caring um, for her students. I nominated my English teacher, Ms. Kripkala, for the Crystal Apple Award because during the pandemic, when we were learning online or hybrid, she was always connected to the Google Meet as well as the in-person kids, um, which is really helpful because it really helps you stay engaged. And she always has such a positive attitude and is always in such a good mood, which makes learning through a computer screen um, so much easier and so much more enjoyable. So I really appreciate her for that. Hey guys, I think Mr. Bear should get the Crystal Apple Award because he's nice, he's kind, he's friendly. He's um, he's always been a friend of me since my freshman year at uh, Shawnee. And I think Mr. Bear should get a Crystal Apple Award for his hard work, his, his dedication, his, his awesome personality. He just, he's a person who you think could help with anything you need. Mr. Bear is a rock star and I think he should get a Crystal Apple Award for everything he's done to make me happy. He's just a great person to be friends with, and you can't deny a good friend, right? And I think Mr. Bear should get the crystal ball board because he's awesome. He's been my friend since my freshman year of high school. He's nice, he's kind, he's a dedicated, hardworking person, too. Like, he should get the Crystal Apple Award, and I appreciate everything Mr. Bear done for that. I nominated Mr. Butler for the Crystal Apple Award this year because um, throughout the year, he's always made sure that we are um, staying connected. If we were online, virtual, um, he's also prepared us uh, throughout the year really well for the AP tests. Um, he always makes sure we're on, on uh, task in class. Um, and make sure that if we have any input or any questions, he's always um, open to accepting that input or answering questions that we have. Um, and I think he does a really good job of balancing all the things he has to do with his personal life, uh, with school. Um, I'm sure that's um, a lot to, to carry. Um, so I think he, he does a really good job, um, and I appreciate that. He really cares for us um, and always wants to check in and make sure we're doing okay. Um, so yeah, thanks, Mr. Butler. I nominated Ms. Kirpkala for the Crystal Apple Award because no matter how early class starts, she always comes with a smile on her face. She asks us all every day how our day has been, how our week is going, or even if we have any questions about the world or life in general, making sure to ask both in-person and remote students. She connects with every one of her students personally, remembering maybe a sports game that they played over the weekend or their other specific interests. She not only is an incredibly amazing teacher, encouraging us to always search for the deeper meanings, but is an amazing person in life, always affecting others with their kindness. I look forward to her class every day, as I'm sure all of her students do, so thank you so much. My name is Caitlin Sullivan, and I nominated Mr. Catanella for the Chris Lapp Award. Mr. Capnella has made Shawnee a safe space for me this year through his work in the Wellness Center and his efforts to make connections with every student that he meets. This year, I was able to have Mr. Catnella as a coach for two seasons in a row. Although we did not have normal seasons, he made the best out of them. In winter track especially, Mr. Catnella tried to make us all feel like we are a crucial and important part of the team. This year has been especially hard for everyone but the Wellness Center has really been a safe haven for me and other students. Mr. Catanello works to make sure you feel safe and comfortable in the Wellness Center, letting you either be alone or talk to him. 
He understands what we are going through and puts every effort forward to help us rise above our issues. He taught me to call anxiety my friend rather than try to get rid of it. And that has helped me with so many issues this year, especially. He has taught me so much in the short time that I have known him. And he has pushed me to make connections with those around me and to love the school that I am in. There's so much to be said about Mr. Catanella, but overall, he's an incredibly influential coach, counselor, and a person who makes Shawnee a safer, brighter place. I nominate Ms. Eichmann because she is a wonderful teacher. Throughout this school year, we've all had to adjust in the way we learn and find new ways to navigate through the school year. And during this journey, I can generally say that Ms. Eichmann has really helped me. Every day, either in person or on Zoom, she always comes to class with a big smile and a helping hand to all her students. With her high spirit personality, she doesn't make school feel as stressful and gives me a chance to really enjoy class. Ms. Eichmann does this by being there every step of the way as we learn about things like animal behaviors, genetics, cells, and makes her students feel like we can always come to her with any questions or problems. Additionally, in class, Ms. Eichmann doesn't make it feel like it is just about school. There were times that it was just me and her in the class because I was the only in-person student in the class at that time. During those moments and more, I feel that Ms. Eichmann was interested in getting to know me personally by checking in and asking about my life outside of school. I really enjoy being in Ms. Eichmann's class and would like to nominate her for the Crystal, Crystal Apple Award as a way to say thank you. Thank you for all your hard work, your efforts to make school fun and labs and reviews and being an awesome person. I nominate Mr. Master for the Crystal Apple Award. We call him Prof because his previous students did. And we call him that because uh, Professore in Italian means male teacher. And if you shorten that down, you get Prof. Uh, I thought it'd be weird calling him that at first, but now it seems a little weird to call him Mr. Master. Uh, I nominated him because he's a very kind, understanding teacher. He's down to earth. If you turn something in late, he's not going to mark points off on you. You know, he'll give you time to work on in class, time at home. He'll give you makeup days at the marking period because he wants to make sure you get the best grade you can. Uh, when you come to class, you'll get greeted with a buongiorno. And yeah. He's just a nice, kind teacher, you know, and that's why I nominated him. I nominated Mr. Master for the Crystal Apple Award, but his students call him Prof, which is short for Professore, which means male teacher in Italian. So um, I nominated him because he really isn't like any other teacher. And what I mean by that is... First off, let me just say he cares. A lot of teachers are just like, I'm going to give you the material and you're going to choose to do what you want with it. If you decide to not study for your tests and take notes, and if you get an F, that's on you. But he genuinely, deep down in his heart, and you can tell, wants his students to get a good grade, not only because he wants to look good or make it seem like he's a better teacher. He genuinely wants his students to do well, and he genuinely wants us to pick up on the material. Just recently, uh, we had a conversation in class, and he's the only teacher to actually talk about what's been going on in our world. A lot has been going on, and it's just really... It's a toll on all of our emotional and mental health, and he is the only teacher I have to go over that and just say that he's here for us, and he cares about more than just the articles in Italian. So um, I, I think that he's just an amazing teacher, and that is why I nominated him. Thank you. Hi, so I nominated Mr. Butler this year for the Crystal Apple Award because I really think he did a great job with online learning this year and balancing kids in the classroom and at home and keeping us all engaged during this crazy time. I also think he really tries to connect with his students. He always asks if we did anything fun on the weekends or anything interesting we'd like to share. He always also remembers students' interests outside of school, like sports games and stuff, and makes sure to ask the students how they went or how they did in those things. I really enjoy his class because he creates a fun atmosphere that keeps us all engaged. And I always look forward to his class and I think that he's an amazing teacher. Thank you. 
I nominated Mr. Anderson for the Crystal Apple Award. Ever since the beginning of the year, he's always been trying to stay connected with his students and get to know them more. And I feel like it's been hard for a lot of teachers to get to know their students on a more personal level because of the hybrid and remote schedule. But every time we walk into class, Mr. Anderson's always asking everyone, like, how was your weekend? What did you do the night before? What, how was your club, sports, activities? He always goes around the room and he makes sure to ask the remote kids too and always tries to stay involved in everyone's life. And I think that's really awesome. I love going to class and he's like, Casey, how was your track meet? Like, how was your race? And I feel like it's really nice that he cares because none of my other teachers do that. And besides from him just being connected with his students, he's just been a great teacher throughout the whole year. He's always been one of my favorite people to see. Just walking to his classroom, he's always smiling, always happy. Even I would never know if he was having a bad day because he never puts it on us. And he's been very accommodating with the workload he's been giving us because of the pandemic. And I feel like he's been a very fair teacher throughout the year. And he always makes it fun too. We play different games like Jeopardy, categories, current events. And he's an overall really great teacher. And I think Mr. Anderson really deserves this Crystal Apple Award. Thanks. Hey, Prof. I'd like to thank you for in these tough times being not just a good teacher, but a great teacher. And because of that, I'm glad to pronounce that you are this year's Crystal Apple Award winner, which is awarded every year to the best teacher that goes out of their way, not just to be a good teacher, but a great one. Congratulations. My name is Ava Stasia Tui, and I nominated Mr. Joubert for the Crystal Apple Award. I nominated Mr. Joubert because during the past year, it's been really difficult to learn music and interact with different choir settings, but Mr. Joubert has gone above and beyond to help us adapt to new technology, all the technical issues that come with trying to sing together or even just learn music together um, online and not just sing together in person. And I'm really grateful for all the work we've done together with our leadership council and the way that Mr. Joubert has allowed us to just take initiative and start to build a better community in our choir. Thanks, Sister Joubert. Hi, my name is Andrew Rombach, and um, this is my video for the Crystal Apple Award. I nominated Mrs. Han. She is my uh, web design teacher, teacher for class five. I really like Mrs. Han because she really helps us out with um, getting to know the material, and she makes sure that she makes sure that we know it. And, you know, she's always good about due dates. You know, if you have an activity, a sport, or whatever it is, she's always, like, she's always willing to give you extra time. You know, that comes in handy a lot. So, uh, thank you, Mrs. Han, and have a good rest of the year. I nominated Mr. Atendo for the Crystal Apple Award because this past year has been a challenging one for all the teachers with the countless obstacles that have prevented them from being able to teach the way they normally would. Especially when it comes to music, I think he has had one of the toughest jobs to try and continue to help us improve through all the COVID restrictions that come with trying to play as a group. Even though the class hasn't been able to take place the way it normally would, he has worked hard to find new alternative ways to learn, which have helped me get better individually. Throughout the numerous disadvantages that have come his way, he still makes class enjoyable and always creates a positive environment, which has increased my appreciation for music. In addition to his beneficial instruction, he has also been a teacher for me who is easy to talk to and approachable. This pandemic has affected us all in different ways, and Mr. Tindo has always been there and encouraged me to stay positive and keep my head up during these tough times. He has helped me in different situations outside of the class and has given me advice that will stick with me in the future. I truly appreciate all the hard work he has put in to make me a better musician, and I want to thank him for the positive impact he has made on me this year.